Hello and welcome to Daniel Walsh. Today we're going to use for the <laughs> I meant to say this the first time, but it's actually second time because I've already used this. <laughs> for the first time, the the my Shepton glass uh, stones, uh, wet stones. Uh, since I started sharpening, I'm, I, I was always fascinated with this uh, with this Shepton lineup with this uh, glass. Uh, stones they look wonderful and I wanted to have them so I bought them it was once I bought them it came to me I bought them secondhand because eh, I've invested a lot of money in stones so I'm trying to get uh, here and there cheaper stones I, I can still get some but it's not easy anymore <laughs> so once I bought them and they they came to me and I saw how thin they are I said to myself oh shh, 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 shh. that word <laughs> but we're, we're going to test them so uh, let me show you the this is the Kuro Mach 1000 let me show you in comparison but you already know this is 15 millimeters okay and this is about 10 millimeters 5 millimeters of glass 5 millimeters of stone uh, I don't know if <laughs> if Somebody told Shapton that okay, you you, you gotta make them <laughs> uh, thicker, but they already came up with the version of ten millimeter stone plus five millimeter uh, glass. So they brought a, a new lineup because I think a lot of people had the same <laughs> same uh, feel that I got. But anyway, uh, today we're going to use this uh, this uh, Shapton uh, stones. And we're going to sharpen a Deba knife. This is a Tanaka Deba made by Tanaka. I, I've tried to find some information on, on the internet, but I couldn't find this. I mean, I had a, I have a code here and I tried to look for this code, but I never found it. So I found some, some uh, Deba from Tanaka, Shideke Tanaka. And they were saying that this is silver steel. I'm not sure because, like I said, I, I didn't find that code. What I found on the internet, uh, Shideki Tanaka has two uh, Deba 16.5 millimeters. This, uh, let me see if I'm not mistaken, if it's 16.5 or, yeah, it's 16.5 millimeter long Deba. And it has two, two Deba types, this silver steel, they call it. I'm not sure if it's silver steel, like I said. And there is one, another one, Damascus. This is not Damascus for sure. So uh, I, I will do something that I never did in my, <laughs> my other videos. Ah, let me, by the way, <laughs> about the other videos, uh, you can find there. I found one with uh, another Deba sharpening where I was talking about the uh, backside, the, the, the bevel side. Ah, I'm not going to use the, the Japanese terms because I mean, I'm not very familiar with them, and I'm sure that a lot of you are not very familiar with them. Plus, I'm sure that you're not so interested in learning uh, Japanese terms. I think you want to know how to sharpen it, and that's enough. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm going to use a file, and as you can see, the file skates on the knife. So I think the harness might be between 56 to about 60 uh, Rockwell. Not sure, but it is what we know, it is a hard blade. So, uh, like I said, we're going to sharpen this with the uh, this lineup. So I have here three Shepton glass, actually four Shepton glass, but this is, these three are from the high resistance um, brand, let's say, and they have for the Shepton glass, they have uh, three variants, high resistance, high carbon, and the uh, thick 10 millimeters, like I said. So these three are high resistance, and this is high carbon. As you can see, there is a color difference between them. Okay, so this high resistance means that the stones are very hard, very compact, and this high carbon means that this should be used, I mean should. This is more appropriate, let's say, uh, for high carbon uh, nice high carbon steel so if this high resistance means that the stones are very hard this high carbon means that should be used for uh, for uh, 
high carbon knives. And for finishing, we are going to, I mean, I'm going to try to use a, a Japanese natural copa whetstone, a JNET, Okunomo Tomae Copa, with a grit between 4000 to 6000. What those means is that this stone was extracted from a, from the Okunomo mine. Tomae means the layer uh, which which uh, they they extracted from, and Copa means it's an irregular shape. Okay. That being said, I think we covered the introduction. So we're going to start with the 320 and see how it how it works. I had to stop to show you something. I mean, for a 320 grid stone, you can see we already see mirror polish. 320 <laughs> grid stone. Yeah, as material, you can see it's quite fast. So we continue. I've stopped the video because <clears throat> it took some time to develop to to get the stone moving but once once you start sharpening the stone starts to release abrasive particles and everything changes there is no more mirror polish and also the grunt you can hear it now yeah, it's different once I started it felt like uh, maybe a thousand stone but once it started releasing particles i mean i you can hear it also now it's much more uh, abrasive let's say okay so i will continue till i get the burr but like i said uh, everything changed it changed uh, as soon as it started releasing particles and you can see there is no more that mirror polish is a very very hazy finish Okay, so I'll continue till I develop a burr and then I'll move to the next grid. Okay, I finished, let's say, the, the cosmetic part and now I've started to sharpen it. What I mean is I put the, the, the knife on the stone, on its bevel, and I raised it slightly about 5 degrees. So now I can start doing the uh, cutting edge, uh, more or less from what I found the cutting edge should be about at about 45 degrees. There are people that do the cutting edge only at the end uh, on the finest stone, but that means that uh, your knife was in good condition when you started. This was in a very bad condition. As you can see, the edge is still glinting. So it is, uh, there is, it was, the, the knife had uh, a lot of chips. So the guy that uh, sent me the stone, he said, 
he took a lot of material from from the from the edge so now to put back the edge what I'm doing I'm doing a little cheat I'm cheating a little let's say and like I said I've did the polishing of the I think it's the shinogi line and now I'm doing the sharpening like I said put it on the stone raise it to about five degrees and doing exactly the same thing as for the shinogi line and uh, doing the cutting edge let's say till of course I get the burr on the other side so I, I'll be back once I have a burr I'm almost there <laughs> I mean I got an edge not a good one but I'm getting there Just for the fun of it, I wanted to polish directly from a 320 to a, on a strop and see how it cut. What can I say? I mean, like I, like I told a lot of people, you don't need to focus on the stone, you need to focus on the sharpening. I mean, you can get a pretty decent, nice edge on a 320 stone. Yes, it will not be beautiful, but it will cut. Like... Duck Markite, I will say, forging fire, it will cut. Okay, so we're going to move to the 1000. Okay, I've cleaned the stone. How does it clean? Uh, not bad, but I use also this cleaning stone, Chinese cleaning stone, which for me is the best. And like, like I told you in other videos, I have a lot of other Nagura cleaning stone. And... And the best of, of all, yeah, is that Chinese one. It's wonderful. I love it. Uh, so that being said, um, I'll be moving to the 1000. And of course, I'll be doing the same thing. First, I'll polish the Shinogi and I'll do, then after, I'll do some, some sharpening. Okay, I've started to polish the 
Shinogi line, the Shinogi, and <laughs> I mean the stone seems much much more faster than the than the 320 actually, <laughs> but it's just my feeling. Uh, it's what to expect. I mean, I think it's faster than the 1000 professional, but the uh, finish is as expected very very hazy so i'll do the shinogi a little and then i'll do the sharpening and i'll be back at the i end. was cleaning and cleaning the shinogi line and the stone got all dirty and i said to myself okay let's go and wash it <laughs> so i washed the stone i forgot i forgot to show you how much material it removed but <laughs> you will see as soon as i start sharpening how how it does so we've cleaned more or less the shinogi line with the 1000 so now it's a easy finish and now I'm going to sharpen it and like I said I'm do, I'll be doing the same thing I'll lay the, the knife flat on the stone and I'll raise it to about 5 to 10 degrees and as you can see again the stone looks much much faster than the 320 but of course it's a different feeling material wise I mean you can see how much it removes so I'll be doing sharpening I'm done with the 1000 the edge is beautiful in my opinion and to be honest if it was up to me I could have stopped here because the edge is very very nice but we'll go higher and now I don't know if I should go with the 3000 or jump directly on the natural stone Let's try with the natural. Let's play. <laughs> Let's have some fun. We'll go with the with the JNet and see and we'll see the result. Okay. Just did a few passes, and as you can see, <laughs> eh, wow, feeling is very, very, very nice. Let's see if I can can't fix it in my support, but still. <laughs> I'm curious about the polishing, but the speed is superb.
So I said to myself, like you see, I've stopped with this one. I said to myself, let's play with another GNet and see what's happening. This is a Iwatani, or you will, you will find it also with I and A Iwatani. I'm not sure what the correct word is, but this is only on water, no slurry. Watch this. Impressive, huh? <laughs> Look. I mean, wow. Super wow. And you can see this is hazy polish and the edge is mirror polish. Of course, because you have two materials, you'll have that. This Iwatani is much harder than that uh, Okunomo. Okunomo, let me check, read on the paper. So, oh God, I think it's Okunomo. Yeah, Okunomo. This one is much harder. Well, let's, let's clean it and let's try the other one without slurry and see how it works. Because now, like I said, we okay. play <laughs> Okunomo, no slurry. Same incredible, I mean, same incredible speed. This one um, is softer and it releases particle much faster. That one is not that soft, but it's quite interesting too. So now I'll be playing around a little and then I'll be putting the final edge on it. Of course, I'll be back with the final conclusions. Of course, I made a mess on the table. But this is before stropping. As you can see, it shaves. Let's see, let's see. There. Okay, and now we're going to strop it. Of course, clean the table a little. I'm also using my monocular to check the edge. And uh, and that's it, I think. After that, we'll. we'll I will come back with some conclusions and that that will be it because it was a long one. So, uh, I'm done, the edge is <laughs> razor sharp, I mean I can easy, easy, easy make uh, noodles. <laughs> paper noodles i could have spent more time i think on the on the polishing but all in all it took me two to maybe more two and a half hours just for the polishing so because this is this is a, a knife that i'm going to uh, it's not mine um <laughs> you know if i spend too much time and then ask for a lot of money of course people won't be happy but all in all, the knife looks very, very nice. The edge, the shinogi and the bevel looks perfect. Somebody called me, so <laughs> the, the recording stopped. And I meant to say that that's it with the knife. Uh, stones. Mm, okay. Uh, first, when I start to use the 320, I said to myself, no, I don't like this stone. 
because it's very, very, very slow. But then it started to release uh, particles and then, of course, the situation changed. It became much, much faster. Am I going to use it? Uh, no. <laughs> and not because it's not a good stone, it's because it's very, very, very... Uh... Oh, I forgot the word! Tiny? Not tiny. Anyway, I'll, I'll remember. <laughs> One, no, this is the 3000 and I didn't use it. Ah, I should use this in one of the one of the, the movies, the, the videos that will follow. I think I'm going to use it and see what the difference is between the 3000 and the 4000, uh, 3000 HR and the 4000 HC. 1000, yes, the skinny. Ah, I remember the word. Because it's so skinny, I'm... I meant to say that I'm not going to use them because they are very, very skinny. I mean, I mean it's like, like I'm, uh, I don't have enough stone. But all in all, if you if you take the, them for you, and to use it just for sharpening your knives, this will be very, very, very good stones. And of course, they will last you for a long, long, long time. But if you're planning to do a business, I don't think you might use them very often because like i said they are very very uh, thin comparing of course with the with other stones i i keep mine in in this box <laughs> because of course they are very very brittle they have uh, less and another surprise that i have with these natural stones and I think you might see them more often in my videos because I have a huge collection of J nets. I have a Okunomo here, uh, Iwatani. Let me see if I have anything else around here. Mm, not here, but in uh, in my house I have um, Shobudani. I have ah, I have Shobudani here. This is a Shobudani. I have Nakayama. Uh, I don't remember now, but still, all in all, I think I'm going to use them more because they are very interesting stone for finishing. You can see it's a very, very nice finish. So that's it for today. If you have comments, questions, just leave them below. Uh, and if the commercials are running at the end, you can leave them. And in the meantime, you can read the comments. Some of them are very, very nice. Okay, see you next time.